Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, back on the brand new season of Minecadia Factions on royal.minecadia.com slash redeem royal. But guys, I just had to do a really quick intro because this guy right here, Poos, he told me he has a full eight lore set for the absolute free, bro. There's no way. Shout out to Poos right here. I mean, you know, kind of crazy name. But he said he made the set in literally an hour because he does expos. And he said he just didn't want it. So we have a full eight lore set off the rip. I have not done a thing. He said just PvP more because it's entertaining when you do. Guys, I can't get a kill whenever I PvP, bro. But if you guys actually like content where I PvP and if I die, you guys don't care, then, you know, that's something we could definitely get into. But if you guys care about kills, you're on the wrong channel, buddy. Anyways, guys, if you do want to come check out the server, it literally barely reset yesterday, so you guys can still hop on. Please consider using my custom IP. And if you guys want to support me further and yourselves as well, do slash redeem royal. And it's time to turn off the sounds, even though this guy is saying, you know, slash redeem royal, the pings are kind of crazy anyways yo i am super late to start of the world i am not going to lie if i do slash chapters i basically miss all the good fun chapters the prologue's kind of whatever right but the mini game chapter i actually did want to play this map and try to like win a mini game i got really close last season and uh yeah we didn't end up getting it and i completely missed it this season miss the boss chapter which is what you need to start off it's how you get money it's how you get spawners off rip we missed that and uh expedition chapter we have missed but i don't really care about this chapter chapter and we are currently on the voyage chapter Ooh, maybe if my faction is running voyages i don't even know if my faction is playing yet i might have to take a cut and check but for right now guys we have 12 start of the world crates right here these are gonna go crazy i'm starting late so you know i went ahead and grabbed a couple extra and i'm really hoping to win some spawners some silverfish spawners would be huge we're gonna need uh chunk busters for sure as well maybe a god weapon that we could pair with this eight lore set if my faction is pvp bro i am down to get some early game pvp in bang too many game loot bags that is amazing that's gonna give us some money some xp and yeah that was definitely the best uh win right there but yeah as always bro if you guys have any suggestions for this season like content wise anything you guys want to see let me know down below in the comments i do know that you guys love the rating content and last season um tnt enabled the same day i had a server reset so i didn't get to get that many raids in but this season should be different i want to raid some vaults this season and i do also want to raid some bases with actual spawners last season i kind of had to rush it and we basically raided every single thing that we found and we just won a sword of triton that we can pair with this god set right here also a mystery pet level 50 i don't know what the chances are to get an ig pet out of this i don't even know if it's possible to get an ig pet but ooh, wait an experienced pet could be decent i don't know if you guys watched the last season but i did use selling xp as a way to make bank off start of the world honestly that might be the way i go early game i might not buy igs I might literally buy blaze spawners. And Poos is asking me for 20k. All right. He did give me the set. So, uh, you know, we'll claim this 1 million. Pay Poos. We'll just hit him with the 1 mil. Wait, did that pay 1 million? Okay, yeah, yeah, I did. But yeah, I might also look for uh, some box teammates to box with this map. Since I am starting a little bit late and I don't know if I really want to run all of the alts for the cactus farms again. But I definitely could. I might just buy a bunch of full access accounts from like the Minecraft website and just put them on a VPS. That mm, Honestly, no, that does actually sound kind of good. We might, we might do that but see like these mystery boss summoners bro they're just not gonna be that good because we miss the double loot bags but boom two more minigame loot bags right there another one million dollars um we did just win a fortune crate what do we get out of this we got a fortune helmet if we could get a fortune set bro oh my god we could farm oh wait that's the full set oh my god wait wait no this is godlike guys we can turn this fortune set into a good grinding set and look at it gain two times more xp holy hell this was actually one of the best wins i could have gotten on start of the world i didn't even like really like i wasn't commentating whenever i won it because i didn't realize what we won but that is amazing guys that's what we're gonna do we're gonna be printing in cactus farms and i think i just go straight for blazes on this start of the world and we just try to cash out on selling xp as much as possible especially early game when a lot of people don't have a lot of xp from expeditions not a lot of people are gonna have a lot of spawners this actually does have a chance to be a godlike strat but i might also want to get a little bit of pvp in with the faction in today's video as well so we'll see i already missed most of the chapter so i kind of just want to go in print some cactus farms and stuff gotta go buy some alts get the vps going see if i can even get that thing to work and i just got word that my faction is basing this map thank god we are gonna have a base and we have a level 50 experience pet as well bro this actually couldn't be more perfect for the xp grinding setup like actually so let's go ahead and pop this we got a silverfish pet that's the worst one and we got two slash trash 
trash. Unfortunate. Ooh, a voyage portal. Hold on. We could actually maybe sell this for some money. I know it's a voyage chapter, so this is like prime time to sell them. Yeah, I just checked with the faction. Literally, no one's running voyages in there. So, uh, AH sell 20 mil. Hopefully, that sells because that would be huge for printing in cactus farms. The only thing that we're missing so far this star of the world is silverfish spawners, but I know that's like one of the rarest, rarest wins out of this. I honestly rather the fortune set over the silverfish spawners, which might be a crazy thing to say, but if you really grind out the XP, bro, you can turn that XP into so much money. Oh my God, I promise it's not rigged. Literally three silverfish is like that. Obviously, I prefer the fortune set, but I will take both. Thank you very much. If we could win any more, that would be massive. We have to get this silverfish farm up as fast as possible with the cactus farm and then get as many blazes as possible. If I look at slash cron, does the cron give you any blaze spawners from the rewards? $5 million. Um, Six IGs, voyage portal. I am not seeing any blazes, which means... I'm probably not going to want to do this because this stuff is so annoying to grind out. Yeah, I didn't see any blazes whatsoever. I swear blazes used to be in this. They need to add that back. Oh my god, another three. Bro, we have six silverfish and I still haven't opened up these minigame loot bags and I still have my kits, my Kraken Plus and then my regular Kraken kit, which is going to give us some more money. This has been the best start of the world opening I have had in my entire life, bro. And I don't even, I'm literally not trolling, bro. Six silverfish. I think that matches the same that we had last season, except we didn't get a fortune set last season. Nine, make it nine silverfish spawners, bro. This is about to be the richest start of the world I have ever had. We honestly didn't get too many minigame loot bags, but I mean, that's fine if we're getting silverfish out of them instead. I will take it, but let's go ahead and open these up. We did get a decent amount of chunk busters, which we are going to need. We got some tank fours right here. We will open these pets. How much money? $10 million. Boom. Another $10 million. Keep the money coming. And this one's four IGs. Not bad. Six blazes. Thank you very much. And boom. Magma cubes right there. Pop this. $5 million. Not the greatest, but... I mean, it's better than nothing. Last minigame loot bag right here. We got some XP, which is not bad because we need collection chests. Wow. Um, literally all of that is going to go straight into collection chests right here for the cactus farm. I don't know how many we're going to, we're not going to be able to get a lot. Actually, we have 30, which is that enough for one cactus farm? I hope it is. And we pulled an IG pet. Dude, that is so incredibly rare. I literally never pull IG pets. Wow, bro. We have a God set. We have a fortune set. We have silverfish spawners, but I couldn't have asked for a better start of the world. Again, shout out to Poos one more time. But let me go ahead and talk with the faction. If we're PvPing, I'm in a god set right now, so I don't want to go out and PvP alone because I will literally get ganked. It will not be a good look. But if we're PvPing, I have an IG pet and I have a set and we have a weapon as well. I'm going to go talk with the faction. If not, we'll probably just print in cactus for right now until we have some more content. And just like that, guys, we are back. And I checked with the faction and literally nobody was PvPing. So I went ahead and did what I said I was going to do. I went ahead, I bought alts. Okay, we have four alt accounts, fully mine, and we have put them on a VPS. So these things should be getting AFK'd 24 seven. There's one little problem. I don't know if they reconnect on a server reboot. So we'll have to wait and see about that. But the entire cactus farm is done. Oh my God, I forgot these right here. Okay, hang on. We're gonna slash gen. The reason why I build these is because last season, bro, there were a ridiculous amount of pearl glitchers for no reason. Or, I mean, they were probably hacking. They might have been V clipping in. I don't know, but I'm just taking extra precaution. Everything is blocked off over here. That means I'm going to have to do it on this side as well, though. Oh, wait, no. I somehow hit it on this side. Okay. But the first cactus farm is fully built. I only have one up right now. Honestly, buying all those alts took so long with the new, like, migration system and all that. But it's fine because I can't really make another cactus farm right now because I don't have any more collection chests and I have zero XP. So I currently have $36 million. If I age search a blaze, um, there's two on there for a million. We're gonna go ahead and buy those, but I need to find a way to get me some blaze spawners. Okay, because I know I cannot afford a lot there. 700K a pop, bro. So if we just take a look, I mean, uh, for start of the world, this is a pretty decent amount, bro. 41 for start of the world. Now listen, I can't make any more money unless I'm like selling XP or making more cactus farms, but I need collection chests to make cactus farms, which means I need blaze spawners. So I don't know if this is a dumb investment right now. I, I'm just going to do it, bro. Boom. And then what we're going to do is we have already set up this. We're going to get down our silverfish spawners ASAP and our IGs as well. I think I still have the schematic for here. We can just boom 
unload it. And PV1. Oh, and we have eight blazes in our PV as well. We have eight IGs, nine silverfish. We literally have more silverfish than IGs, which is insane. But yeah, we didn't get any gas. I do have three magma cube spawners. Bang, just get those down. Fly back down to the blaze grinder. Get these down as well. And now it is time to build ourselves a little bit of a grinding set which hopefully shouldn't be too hard. But yeah, we're gonna need like Shackle and Inquisitive 4 on this sword, and that's basically it. I don't really care about grinding keys or anything like that. I believe that's like Jules 5 or something. And yeah, this grinder is gonna be making us some money, and we are going to be farming some XP in the meantime as well. I think I'm gonna build a little uh, collection layer, like just full of chests over here. Can't put anything too important in here because uh, yeah, people do glitch in. Honestly, it was like some of the same weirdos all season last map, so I don't know, maybe they're gone. But we're gonna go ahead, do slash G, kit and we are going to pop a pioneer we're gonna get a tinker mask literally throw that on the set immediately and we got inquisitive for shackle three is that max we just literally need to black scroll the sword and we're good to go now as for the rest of these g kits let's pop a scream i think yeah scream is actually a pretty decent one for pvp so we will hang on to that we did get a fat six chest plate right here pretty solid but that was actually surprisingly lucky i thought we were gonna have to pop cooldown shards and keep re-rolling this but we literally got the max out sword right here so i do need to save up some xp so that way we can buy some black scrolls and uh, actually black scroll these enchants off onto the fortune's blade Ooh, wait wait pv1 yeah let's go ahead grab this for some reason bro on my kitty you like gotta warm up hitting the blazes but bang there we go i believe it's warmed up hopefully this makes us some sort of xp it's super super early game just started the world so i'm not really uh expecting anything too insane xp wise here but just enough give me some black scrolls give me some collection chests so that way we can keep printing in some more cactus farms and black scrolls are 45,000 xp i'm not gonna lie i didn't know they were that expensive so slash g kit um we can pop is it the, this one boom this one gives you black scrolls right here and a random mask um okay i mean a parrot mask i guess and yeah we have a grip of cooldown shards in here um i'm just gonna keep popping this oh wait i popped the wrong one the shaman right there and we are just gonna store up on some black scrolls and then we can just uh blend them yeah this is a way smarter idea i don't know what the hell i was thinking wait bro i just remember this slash challenges are these enabled right now oh my god bro if we get a blaze grinding challenge or like an xp grinding i can definitely place on that and bro those actually give pretty solid rewards for uh start of the world obviously it's the barely the start of the map but now let's hit a slash blender we will blend some of these good black scrolls that's an 89 percent right there let's go ahead and turn that to a 96 this one um yeah 94 right there i think that said so we have these black scrolls right here let's grab this sword bang inquisitive four already please that worked now we need shackle plunder doesn't matter um rage i mean yeah we'll go ahead and throw that on there i guess and then shackle and oh wait enchant slot please and bang now we have ourselves the grinding set you really don't need any other enchants this is all we need now we're going to be making double the amount of xp and yeah i'm going to take a cut right here we're going to grind out some xp buy some more collection chests and then hopefully make some more money from our spawners as well you guys can see already 300k in here it's not the greatest but uh it's really not terrible for a couple hours into the reset and clearly we have not been afking it for that long all right guys we are back and i've been grinding for you know a couple of hours not anything super crazy but as you guys can see our xp is now starting to sell he just bought another one um i think i only have yeah i literally only have one more we're selling him for uh 1 million dollars per 100k xp so currently i have 17 million dollars in my balance which might not sound like a lot but if i do slash chunk info i've also been buying more blazes so we are up to 89 by ah search blaze guys our xp is selling like hotcakes right now there's 29 blazes on there for 10 million that's about half off it's not the greatest deal this early into the map but i think we're gonna do oh no way someone just bought them okay whatever we'll go with this one 20 blazes we're gonna keep investing because dude our xp is selling like crazy and yeah if i actually fly down here we have 20 million dollars in our um like collection chest for all the spawner drops and if i take a look at the cactus farm we have 600k in every single one of the cactus chests so we're looking good money wise i just need more blaze spawners and i do want to sell these chests because it's worth so much money right now but if i look at outpost oh my god outpost has been enabled dude i literally looked at this earlier today and outpost was disabled i have to go talk to the faction see if we can go run and cap this thing so that way i can get the sell multiplier and we can sell all of our stuff we'll have plenty of money to buy blaze spawners or to print in 
another cactus farm because right now i invested so much into blaze spawners that i do only have one cactus farm printed in at the moment i only have 10 million which isn't enough to uh print in another cactus farm but i do have 40 collection chests in my inventory which i think should be enough for the next cactus farm if it's not we are starting to make a decent amount of xp so far not anything crazy yet in regards to everybody else on the server um this early into the map the amount of xp that we are making is pretty good and literally our last xp bottle just sold i have to get to grinding some more because now slash ah we we have nothing on there and i've been selling way more than what i just recorded but again we've just been investing it straight back into more blazes so i do have 10 million dollars left we could buy these for five mil i mean that's about half off as well i believe yeah you know what let's go ahead and do it boom there we go we'll make the money back all right no worries and low-key guys i haven't checked out slash warp lake at all which is the brand new warp um it's supposed to be like economy based if we look at it um there's only four players there right now so i mean if they just choose with me but the lake rod is five million dollars but if you start leveling that up you can go catch fish and these fish also sell for money so that's another strategy that you could use i have no clue how good it's gonna be because again at warp lake pvp is enabled so you could get jumped and you could get ganked i saw a faction in chat selling um like you know tickets to grind there uh without getting killed by them i guess a faction is running the slash warp lake i just feel like you're kind of a bitch if you pay to grind there so i don't want to do that but we might have to end up doing that for an episode because i do want to test it out eventually but if you pay for you know a 24-hour ticket to not get killed by that faction and then that faction gets ran first of all you wasted money and you're just kind of folding that's that's the way i see it so i'm chilling in my little blaze farm for right now also if i go into my pv1 we do have these sunken treasure loot boxes right here that we're gonna go ahead and open um i wouldn't mind winning more start of the world crates because if we win more silverfish out of that that would be absolutely huge but there's hellraisers peacekeepers um chef masks would be really good i don't have any chef enchants but whenever um v kits actually unlocked from slash fund we will have a uh, chef so that could be really good especially with our eight lore set and we got a 10 lore ace bat six shillings cave pet oh my god that is actually amazing wait level 100 pet bro if we could pull a level 100 xp pet like it's game over all right level 100 silverfish pet whoa 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 sweaty bomb said I would be swimming in your box this map. All right, let's hit him with an F. -hoop. Eh, wilderness. All right, buddy. I somehow highly doubt that. I thought, I'm not sure if Sweaty Bomb usually plays with us. Um, Name definitely does look familiar. But, you know, um, I'm kind of in, I think we're called the Dumb Time. Oh, wait, bro. Is Dumb LMAO our faction leader? Nah, he might be right. We might be cooked. So let's go ahead and move on to another Sunken Treasure loot box right here. Um, We did get a Star of the World crate out of that. So that was actually a very good box. Boom. Two more, three more Star of the World loot crates right there. It's kind of hard to see all the wins, but we're also getting some KD roll tickets. I think we can sell these for like a million a pop right now look at this guy right here bro the meme hi youtuber this guy's a dick eater bro all right he's eating the whole thing but anyways we just sold all of those kadia rolls we still have three more sunken treasure loot boxes i guess i don't mind winning them because we can just flip them for a million a pop right now which is pretty decent we just got a hellhound pet bro that is godlike right now bro i have an eight lore set we have an ace i have souls and i have a hellhound pet i made a wish where god don't answer your prayers bro what am i getting messy there are some interesting individuals here on the server and guys we are selling two temple run dungeon keys for six million a pop i think this is the solo dungeon which i cannot complete the solo dungeon so i will take the 12 million it's gonna be profit for both of us because if i attempted that on my own um i wasn't completing it and that guy's gonna go complete it and make himself some profit as well so good deal for both of us we are now up to 26 million dollars once again i am gonna open up all these start of the world crates praying to god that we win some more silverfish but yeah we also got the shilling caves pet this literally just generates you money passively all you have to do is keep it in your inventory so still two more crates to open right here i've already got everything i basically wanted to win dude we got two lucky crates i don't know if that's good Ooh, more temple dungeon keys yo that guy wants to buy some more we can make another 12 million oh my god or level 100 xp pet bro this couldn't have been a better start of the world i'm so serious like i don't know what else i would have wanted and another 12 million dollars from voyages on trend i believe his name was bang we will take that bro we are printing in last crate right here let me just go ahead empty out my inventory a little bit because it is filled with a bunch of stuff and we can go ahead hit a sell on all of these kadia rolls and boom last loot box of the episode guys we are up to 38 million dollars and bang we got another ace i'll take it i mean this crate didn't seem as good as the other ones actually we did get a ton of kadia rolls again which this is going to transfer to like five million dollars and we got two level 100 xp pets hold on 
are these are these uh going for a lot right now like there's a level one right here for 35 million dollars that's got to be overpriced oh no there is one on there for 20 mil by generous so that's probably around the uh right price so we can sell one for 18 million because obviously i don't need to oh someone has to purchase i'm sure those will sell in a second though but yeah we're gonna try and flip one of these xp pets into 18 million dollars now let's go ahead and open up these start of the worlds real quick i'll probably cut these out unless we win something good just want mini game loot bags or uh what was the other thing silverfish spawners yeah oh my god a voyage portal is that still going for like 20 million per dude we are printing another fortune armor set bro this has to sell for money that's actually got to sell for bank what is our luck today i've actually never won a fortune armor set ever from a start of the world crate until this season and there's not one fortune armor crate on ah right now at all so i don't know what this thing's going for again we're gonna keep hanging on to it and another fortune armor set bro that was the last one wow but we missed out on literally if we click anywhere but the middle we get three silverfish spawners that that does suck a little bit i don't know which one's gonna be worth more the fortune armor set still can't be bad because we had two of them now two extras wait bro cake just said he will give me 50 mil for it deal uh for this fortune crate i literally have to trade cake <laughs> i'm taking that asap buddy boom uh some other people said like 5 million or something some scam prices so 50 mil even if this is undercut i mean i'll still take it bro i guess we're just gonna throw this extra on there for 50 million as well bro boom there we go i will take that price 50 million guys we are at a hundred million dollars and we got another three million dollars out of the minigame loot bag you know something light right there but yeah i think we're just gonna go ahead and spend literally so much of this money on blaze spawners because we can capitalize on the xp market right now fat bro level 100 xp pet fortune set if i get an infinite grinder going bro it might be wraps for the comp so boom we just bought 27 off of ah you just kind of have to uh keep an eye on these these like really aren't that good i mean this one's not a terrible price i guess but it's not great um these ones like the little yeah no i'm not buying these oh wait actually no we will buy these two all right bro um let's go ahead and pop our level 100 xp pe oh entity clear is about to happen damn it okay well anyways guys i do believe that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode um i try to you know get some pvp or do some voyages but my faction literally wasn't doing anything all right so a little unfortunate but it is just start of the world not too much to do besides grind your economy get your spawners up things along those lines so if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously come check out the server with royal.mycadia.com and yeah i'll see you guys in the next factions episode